Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Today, I got a haul from Rainbowloom.com. It was a big one. It cost like $70, which is kind of crazy. But I just wanted to try out all the new bands and stuff that I didn't get. And especially limited edition rounded bands, because you might have seen they've taken off some of the Frost bands, which makes me really sad, because one of my favorite bands was Peach Frost. And, you know, Blue Frost is probably really nice too, but now I can't get them anymore. Which makes me really sad. So I just decided to take advantage of the site and get all the other, you know, limited edition bands, or at least a good amount of them, before they went away too. So anyways, pretty big package when you rip open the baggie. Urgh. Or use the scissors that I brought with me. That's good too. Come on, trusty scissors. Don't fail me. Oh. This takes some force. Oh, geez. I'm sorry, camera. Are you okay? Scissor time. So it's time to s cut open this package. Alright. Last time this took a while, so hopefully this time it will take less time. Oop! We got it. Got it open. Ooh, I see all my limited edition bands are on top. That's cool. And I forgot to preface this with I am not bragging in any way. I'm not trying to at least. But you guys wanted one. I posted the fact that I was getting a haul on Instagram. You guys were like, do a haul video. <laughs> Sorry, I got hair in my mouth. Let me get it. Oh. Got it. Okay. Now let's keep going. So first up, the things that I'm grabbing from the baggie are two packs of mixed uh, pearly white and gold mint. They didn't have them in separate packages anymore, at least there wasn't a separate pack of gold mint. So I just got two. Then there'd be approximately one pack of each color. And I did this with a few other colors too. Next I have bronze burgundy. I think I only got one pack of these. These are, This is one of my favorite colors of limited edition bands and I was glad that they still had them. I never get glitzy burgundy because I don't really like the glitzy colors or the glitzy tones or anything like that. Here, I'm going to pause the video and come back for a moment because it's not focusing very well. Alright, better focus now. Anywho, there's bronze burgundy. Next up, I should have two packages of uh, it's fuchsia, fuchsia, rose, fuchsia rose and frost. Just plain old, you know, clearish frost bands. I've always wondered what they were like, and they'll always look really cool and stuff people make. And again, I got two because, you know, they're mixed, so there'd be approximately one pack of each color. Anywho, there it is. Up next, I just have a normal bag of sweets bands. Mixed sweets, tutti frutti bands, 600 pack. I got some of these at Michael's, far away from where I live. And they don't have them in my local Michaels at the time, and I don't think they'll get them in for a while. So I just decided to get a refill pack from Rainbowloom.com. Okay. Up next, I have plain white and ocean blue. The ocean blue looks really pretty. I can't wait to try it. But, oh, the little baby ocean blue fell out. Poor little blue. Anywho. It's just, you know, two packs of mixed bands, you know. It would equal approximately one pack of each color after I'm done. Where did this even fall out of, anyways? Huh, that's weird. So there's that. Next, I'm really excited to get mixed marble bands. Yay! I've always wanted these. These seemed really cool, and I've seen people do, like, a rainbow color combo, where they, like, order all 
the bands up so that they're like rainbowy and it looks so cool. And I just wanted to do that. So yeah, they're really nice. They have a bunch of different color combos in here. Anyways, I am very excited to try these out. Up next, we have fireworks fans. Again, these are really cool. I've seen them glow in the dark, and they're kind of like sparkly in the dark. Can't wait to try that out later, see what it looks like. Maybe get a picture with my phone, if my phone will pick up the glowiness. But anywho, they all glow in the dark, and I think they all glow in their like respective color too, which is really nice. Because, you know, with other bands Rainbow Limb has, they only glow like purple for the um, glow purple. They only glow blue for the glow blue, and then for white, and you know, like some other colors they have, it glows green in the dark. So if I, get, if I get like all of these to glow their own color in the dark, that would be really cool. Alright, I think that might be it for my rounded bands. They all seem to be on the top anyways, so that's probably it for them. Up next, I have the... Blue Paradise Sweet Mix, and my brother got a package too. Okay. Uh, but yeah, you guys might know that I am a huge fan of blues, so I got two packs of these to go along with my Tutti Fruity Sweets Mix that I have, because I figured they'd go really well together, and the blues I've seen, again, a bunch of people use. Yes? Making a video. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Bye. Wow, he's not nearly as forward as dad. Anyways. I don't know, they even talk. Oh yeah, I've seen people using these. And they look really pretty. So I just wanted some. That's my explanation for everything. I see people use them. They look pretty. I want some. Simple as that. Alright, up next I have a lot of carnival bands. Oh wait. Well, next. I kind of forgot some limited edition. I mean, they're kind of limited edition bands. Sort of, kind of, maybe-ish. But anyways, on to some non-limited edition bands. Got three packs of carnival bands. Now I've, again, seen a ton of people use these. They look really cool. There's also a really cool color combo they put in here. And some of the bands, I'm not sure if you can get in separate packs or not. So yeah, I just love all the color combos that you can make with all these colors that come in the pack. And I like how there's like a white you know, layer on the inside. Yeah, I like the color combo. It's very whimsical. And I got three of these because there are a ton of colors in here. And I wanted a decent amount of each. So there's that. Man, I'm going through this so quickly. Wow, do whole videos usually take this short? Anyway, I still have a lot left, but still. Jeez. Oh gosh. The reason behind me getting all of these is like, I see other people using them and they look amazing. So I guess the Looming community is a very good, you know, free way for Ramp Loom to advertise their stuff. Unintentionally. But anywho, here's the uh, 300 pack sweets, sparkly black. These come with big C clips because they do that with sweets bands, sweets 300 packs. But yeah, I've seen people use these. They look amazing with the little sparkles. Like I said, the um, sparkles and sweets bands seem to have a sort of color tint to them. And you may not be able to tell, but these have like a blue-greeny tint to them. And blue-greeny is like my other favorite color. So yeah, these are really cool. I can't wait to use them. I only got one pack to sample because Sweets bands have this weird texture that I'm not sure if I like or not. So I'm wondering if these bands are worth it for their prettiness or not. Like, to deal with that weird sticky, I don't know. Hard to explain. Up next, I got some neon green. These are in an old package. September 2013. Wow. Like I said in my last haul video, that was a month before I started looming. But anyways, I just love neon green bands. I got to sample them when I got a green finger loom. Because they had a few in the mix pack that came with it. And I do like it a lot because it goes really well with the color combo that I like. That's why I got them. I just wanted a whole pack to use. Up next, I have another color that I figured would go well with that color combo that I like. Chartreuse bands, which is like a yellowy green color. 
And I will have to say, this is a very nice combo of yellow and green. It's like those yellow-green Crayola, like, crayons. That, like, the crayon looks, you know, sort of greeny. But then when you use it, it's, like, yellow. And you, like, your your mind is blown. You're like, how did they do that? What? It lied. Has anyone else experienced this? Please tell me you have. Little kid troubles. Anyways. But yeah, this seems to go really well. The color I had in mind. It is the color that I was hoping for. It's between Michael's neon yellow and then neon green. It's like right in between those colors it looks like. So yeah, that seems like it'll work out pretty well. Up next. No, I only have three packs left after these two. Up next, I have Mother of Pearl Bands. And I got two packs because I'm probably going to use these as like a background color for my bracelets. Because like, I like using white and stuff like that as a background color. Which is also why I got so many packs of like limited edition bands with like frost and white and pearl. Because, you know, background colors you go through a lot quicker. But I just tried like a bag of these a while ago and I liked them a lot. So I just decided to get more. Simple as that. And finally, our last color that I have in my package. I can't believe Rainbow and crammed this all in a bag, like a shipping bag thing. Because I, I could have sworn it would be like too big for a bag and like they should have thrown it in a box. But nope, they're, they just cram it in there, which I guess I admire about them. Anyways, finally I have three whole packs of mixed metallic cans. The reason I get so many is because these are just a personal favorite of mine, honestly. And they come with rounded bands, and they're only like, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but it seemed like they're only like a dollar, a little over a dollar when I got them. Which is crazy, because limited edition bands cost like four bucks per bag of like 300 which is like more than double the price of normal bands. And I'm not saying that's wrong that they're so expensive, I'm just saying that they're expensive. And these are really cheap compared to other limited edition bands. The only thing different about them from a normal limited edition bands is they don't have like the rainbow loom thing embossed in the band. And they don't, they may seem like a little thinner, like a tiny bit thinner, but they're still really good quality. There's not much different about them quality wise. But yeah. And you get all these colors in here too. A bunch of background colors like white and black. And there are two shades of gold in here. I don't think, yeah, it's the same in this bag. Two shades of gold. And yeah, two shades of gold, black, white, and silver too. And I got three because, you know, they give you a few different colors and I want a decent amount of each. Anyways, that's my whole haul. I went through that really quickly, actually. I'm surprised how fast I did it. But let me just roll the camera over here. It's everything. But one more thing before I go is I did run over to Hobby Lobby and get two boxes with removable dividers and stuff. They're a lot like the boxes Rainbow Loom sells on their website. But these were only like a nine box nine bucks a box. I just wanted to show it to you. This is where I'll be organizing my new bands that I got. I figured I'd need a lot of space for them to be put in. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I wanted to show you there, box-wise. So wish me luck organizing all these. Last time I didn't even get any boxes to like shove everything in. So yeah, that was kind of a problem, so I decided to fix that this time. But any hoosies, I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I hope I didn't seem like I was bragging to you guys. If you don't like hauls, I don't care. You guys just wanted me to see this. I'll be adding it as well as, you know, normal tutorials and stuff, just like an extra video out there. So it's not like anyone's, you know, at loss of a video or whatever. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any cool color combos, that you know of that include these bands or bands that are, you already know I have, you can tell me and other people, I guess. Just throw them in the comments down below if you want. You don't have to if you don't want. But I'm blabbering again. Oh, and I can't wait to test out the fireworks bands. 
you'll see my attempt at taking a picture of them on Instagram if I get a good picture of them. But anywho, that's all. I don't think I should talk anymore or else I'll ramble, so bye.